double click on the manufacturing program dot one and then we can uh, select the facing toolbar and notice the facing dot one window will pop up and we have a tool change in the specification tree and a facing dot one operation a red status indicator means that it does not have enough information to do the facing operation here we have select the bottom then select the face in 3d view so this will be the the bottom surface that you're going to face to and notice that I have different selectable icons that change color meaning they're selectable and those parameters can be changed and I just selected the top surface so I want to unhide the stock one product and then I want to select the top surface of the housing product and now I have a green status indicator now I want to select the side and right click and go by boundary of faces and notice I have a facing face selection toolbar that popped up and I just want to I want to unhide the stock one and then I want to select the top surface of the stock one and right now I'm not getting what I need so I'm going to have to do it again so I'm going to make the facing dot one window appear and I'm going to right click and go by boundary of faces and now preview the contour is what I'm looking for and after I select the top surface of the housing one I get the preview by contour and I just select it and then I hit OK and now that's set up and we can move on so I go to the strategy tab and the toolpath style we want to be one way notice that uh, we have a question mark here I'll change this to one way now I'll go to the radial tab and I want the end of path to be out and that's what it looks like up in the graphical as I change it back and forth you can see what what that means so those question marks are kinda handy and that's all we really need to do on the strategy tab so now we can set up the tool make sure that I have the face mill icon selected and then I can uh, have these different options here I can go on ahead and if I already have one saved I can go ahead and pick that but uh, we'll go ahead and name that the T2 face mill D50 you can always change the name I want the nominal diameter to be 2 inches the corner radius to be 0.125 inches the overall length I want to be 1.5 inches and the cutting length I want to be 0.2 inches the length I want to be 0.5 inches the body diameter 1 inch the outside diameter I want to be 2 inches the cutting angle I want to be 90 degrees and depending on the version the non-cutting diameter to be 0 inches now we can go ahead and set up the feeds and speeds and notice my tool icon updated with those parameters that I set so I want to unselect the automatic compute I want the approach to be 20 inches per minute the machining to be 40 inches per minute the retract to be 40 inches the finishing to be 20 the unit to be linear I want the spindle output selected and I want machining to be 20 turns per minute and a unit to be angular then we can go on to the macros tab
in here I just want to go ahead and select approach macro and I have an X on the approach to build user macro icon go ahead and select that and we can add an axial motion but first I want to remove all motions so I select that and then I select add axial motion up to a plane icon then I can right click on this arrow and then I can select feed rate and I want it to be rapid and then I copy that approach macro and as I set up the retract macro I can select the to build user macro and then I'll just do a feed rate Then I'll do the return in a level. I'll just cancel that. That just shows you what you can paste. And I'll add an axial motion up to a plane. And I'll right click, feed rate, and I'll go wrap it again. And just to double check, check, I'll have rapid there. So everything looks okay.